So what operands do these instructions operate on? Well, there has to be a physical location in the computer. And these three locations are, well, we'll get the operands from registers, memory, or from constants that are encoded in the instruction itself. And we call these immediates because they're, these constants are immediately available from the instruction. RISC-V has 32 32-bit registers. And these registers are faster than memory, but limited number. We only have 32 of them. RISC-V is called a 32-bit architecture because we're operating on a size of data of 32 bits. So this uh, is a risk, this uh, version of risk five, the 32 bit um, version. It's actually the um, RV 32I um, version of risk five. So 32, the number of bits that we're operating on and the I being integer. So this is an example of design principle three, smaller is faster. So we actually um, illustrated this principle as well when in the number of instructions. So if we have a smaller number of instructions, well, let's say we have five instructions, we can use, well, we just need three bits to encode which of the five we need, as opposed to, right? So we have three bit encoding, the minimum number of bits we could use for that, as opposed to if we had, you know, let's say, you know, 200, different instructions. Well, now we're going to we're we're going to need how many? At least 8 bits of encoding. So it's going to increase the complexity, increase the number of wires that we're going to need to um, encode those instructions. And so smaller is going to be faster and more uh, more compact. And here's another example of this in the number of registers that RISC 5 includes. RISC 5 includes 32 registers because it's going to be faster to access 32 instead of 1,000 registers, for example. Here is a list of the RISC-V register set. We have the register number, and it's preceded by this X symbol. So we have register 0 through register 31. And we use special names for these registers to indicate kind of the conventional purpose of these registers. So we're going to focus on, while well, the 0 register which always contains the constant value zero. And we can use, we can actually use either of these X zero or zero in our instruction. And also these saved registers. So save registers S zero and S one through S 11. So we have S zero through S 11. We have 12 saved registers. These are used for variables. And also we'll focus on temporary registers T zero to T two and T3 to T6. So T0 to T6, we have seven of these temporary registers to, um, to hold our temporary calculations or our intermediate calculations. We'll talk about the other registers um, throughout as we um, continue on in this chapter. So registers can use either the name like zero or S0 or S5 or the um, the, the number x0 preceded by x, x0, x1. Using the name is preferred because it gives us some information about what that register is conventionally used for. So for example, like we said, 0 always has the value 0, saved registers s0 to s11 hold variables, and the temporary registers hold intermediate values. Again, we'll discuss the others later. So here's the um, add instruction with the actual um, operands that we operate on or that the instruction operates on. So let's suppose that S0 is A, holds A, S1 holds B, and S2 holds C. So then we have add A or S0, comma, S1, B, comma, C. But right, we, it has to get this from somewhere. It can't just be some variable name at this point. And so we put in the actual registers. And we kind of choose those arbitrarily with some conventions of, well, our variables are going to be kept in our saved registers, um, S0 through S11. And to point out here, this pound symbol um, indicates that the rest is ignored by, um, by the, the compiler. It's a single line comment. It's just for humans to read. We also have 
instructions that have immediate or constant operands. So here's the add immediate instruction or add i. This stands for add immediate. I'm going to add a constant here. So if we want to do a equals b plus 6, then we're going to say, OK, well, we still have a and s0 and b and s1. We could have chosen other registers for that, but we chose those ones. So we put a equals b plus, and now we have this immediate or constant operand. And uh, that operand is a 12-bit signed um, immediate or signed constant.